You're interested in buying a Zebra scanner, or maybe you've bought one. Now what? What's the next step? Well, let me introduce you to 123 Scan. With over 2 million downloads, 123 Scan is your easy to use PC tool to configure your Zebra scanner. This tool supports all Zebra scanners. In this video, I'll be covering the basic and advanced functionality shown below, starting with the most simple things, the start screen layout, to how you configure a scanner and your programming options, to the more advanced things like capturing data and how to upgrade 10 units simultaneously. 123 Scan Start Screen is really aimed at the user that uses the tool once a year. They don't use it frequently, so what we try to do is make it nice and simple and easy. The most commonly used functionality shown on this screen, from creating a new configuration file, to updating your firmware, to the last 10 configuration files that you created. If you'd like an overview of what does the tool do, it's available here. If you'd like access to how-to videos, it's available there. The most common use of 123Scan is to create a configuration file to set up your scanner. You select your scanner from the images below. Let's say I have a DS3678, and I recently set it up, so it's on my recently used list. You pick your plugin. I have a DS3678 standard range model with a cradle, there are release notes that tell you what's new with what versions of firmware, the supported models list. So this is the one I want. I'm going to select the plugin. Now I can name the configuration file, set the communication protocol. In this case, I want USB, but I could say I want a different interface. Maybe it's RS-232. Let's go back to USB. 123Scan defaults you to the most commonly used protocol, USB hit keyboard. But maybe you want USB OPAS. You hit next on the wizard and select your symbology. Maybe you want to make sure code 39 is disabled. So right now it's enabled. As soon as I click on this, you'll see an up caret showing I changed something from the factory default. It walks you through some other options. And at this point, I'm done. At this point, you've got some options. One, you can load it electronically via USB cable. Two, you can print a single programming barcode like shown here. Three, if you have an imaging scanner, you can email a picture of the configuration barcode to your phone for scanning off your phone. Or four, you can use mass upgrade mode. You can upgrade up to 10 devices at once using a powered USB hub. More on that later. The last step in the configuration wizard gives you the four programming options we discussed. In addition, you can save your file to your PC. You can print a parameter report, which tells you all the default settings you've got enabled in your configuration file. And at this point, you've created your configuration file and using one of the programming options we just discussed a second ago, you've loaded those settings. You're all done configuring your scanner. This is the most common use of 123Scan. I realize one of the best ways to train someone on 123Scan or any other tool is through short videos. So we've got a bunch of videos on YouTube to help make your life easier. So I walked you through how to create a configuration file in this video, but very quickly. There's a seven minute deep dive on how to create a configuration file on YouTube, how to write an ADF rule for advanced data formatting, how to write an MDF rule for multi-code data formatting. That's the ability to scan multiple barcodes in one trigger pull and output them in the order you want, or how to create a data parsing rule, which is either a UDI, GS1 label, or a blood bag label, and scanning those. So there's a bunch of how-to videos available for you on YouTube that can explain some of the more intricate capabilities of 123Scan and your scanner. You have two ways to access these videos. One is through your browser. Type in zebra.com forward slash scanner how-to videos. Alternatively, you can access the how-to videos from the start screen by clicking here, or within a config file by clicking here. Another common use of 123Scan is upgrading the firmware on a scanner. So click here, and in this case, I have a DS9908 connected to 123Scan via USB cable. The release notes are here telling me what's new in the different versions of firmware. In this case, I have release version 12 from 2019, and I want to go to release version 17, which is from 2020. And over here are what's new in the different versions. So release version 17 came out in December of 2020. It adds UDI parsing. The previous version of firmware, 
fixed an aim dot illumination issue, and the list goes on. So the release notes show you all that's new. One of the industry exclusive options we offer you that no one else does is you have three upgrade options. Option one is the default. It pulls the settings from your scanner, upgrades the firmware, and reloads them. The beauty of this is if you're plugging into a host, just because you upgraded your firmware doesn't mean you've totally lost your settings. Option two loads firmware and resets the factory defaults. And option three loads the firmware, but lets you set custom configuration settings. All we want to do is reset factory defaults. So I'm going to update the firmware. And in a GIF, it'll be done. And best of all, let's say something crazy happens. You unplug the scanner in the middle of the firmware upgrade. You don't break your scanner. The scanner keeps and retains its original version of firmware on it until the new one is fully installed. So you won't break your scanner even if you stop the upgrade mid-process. After you've programmed your scanner, if you'd like to get a look at the way the data will be coming out, click on the data view at the top here, select your scanner. In this case, it's a DS9908. I'm going to have the data come out and hit keyboard. And I'm going to scan a barcode. I'm going to scan the same one again. And what you can see there is I'm looking at hit data. There's a timestamp on the data. It's a UPC I'm scanning. It's 13 digits long. And there's the actual data. You can also print this data out with the output validation report. The data view also allows you to capture an image. One of my favorite 123 scan features is mass upgrade mode. This industry first lets you stage an unlimited number of scanners in increments of up to 10 at a time. You can load settings and or firmware. And when 123 scan is finished loading the settings and or firmware, it'll give you a green light icon here on the row related to the scanner. You can unplug that scanner, plug in the next scanner, and it automatically will start upgrading. To access mass upgrade mode, click Actions, View USB Scanners, click on What is this for more information. It explains all the details of mass upgrade mode, including troubleshooting and helpful hints. I'm going to show you mass upgrade mode in action, but I only have one scanner connected, but it'll demonstrate the capability. We're going to load a configuration I just created for the 9908. It automatically starts, loads that configuration, and when it's done, it gives you a green light. Now I can unplug the USB cable from the scanner, plug it into a new scanner that needs to be connected, and it'll automatically start. And the way you'll know the scanners that you've got, let's say on a table, there's 10 of them, what the condition is, is watch the LED on the actual scanner. Blinking green means you just plugged it into 123 scan. Blinking red means it's loading and it'll go to solid green when it's done. So you can unplug that scanner, plug the cable into the next one and it automatically starts loading and blinking red. And when it's done, it'll go to a solid green. 123 scan has a number of reports that it generates. The most popular being the scanning parameter setting report. It shows you all the parameters you've enabled on your scanner. For more information on 123scan and our other scanning software tools, visit zebra.com forward slash scanner software.